Hey, what's going on guys? Fitz here, and today I'll show you the most efficient ways to level up your character and monsties to level 99 in Monster Hunter Stories 2. Level 99 is the maximum level for both you and your monsties, but getting there will take a lot of time and patience. The main reason to want to level up is because of stats. You and your monsties' stats like HP, attack, and defense will increase when you level up. There are no shortcuts to getting to level 99, but there are efficient ways to do it. There might be some minor spoilers ahead, but if you're watching a video on how to reach max level, then you probably already know that or you don't mind because you already finished the story. So without further ado, let's get into it. There are some requirements sort of before you attempt this i'll discuss them in a bit before that i just want to mention that i checked my previous recording so i can recommend the level that you should have your level and items may vary depending on how you play the game this is just for my reference so at around level 40 i just finished the main story at around level 50 i started playing in the elder's lair then I got my kinship level 9 at around level 60. And finally, at around level 70, I beat the final boss in the last Elder Slayer zone. So I recommend that you attempt this at around level 70. By that time, you most likely will have all the monsies that you want to level up to max level. I started doing this, what I like to call as power leveling, at level 76. Because before that, I was busy collecting eggs and genes and completing my monsterpedia. So anything below 75 are just my estimates. Level 76 and above, I really spent several hours figuring out the most efficient ways to reach level 99. So these are the things that I recommend that you have before attempting this. First, your prayer pot should be at max level, which is just level 20. If you need help with that, you can check out my previous video where I discuss about the prayer pot. I'll put the link in the video description below. This is recommended so you'll have the maximum experience bonus. Next is you should be at least level 70. You can only quick finish battles if you are at a certain level higher than the monsters. This is the key part here. If you cannot quick finish battles on the current zone, that means you need to gain more levels. Go back to the previous zones where you can quick finish battles, and once you level up, you can try the next zone again. We are farming experience in the S Elder Slayer zone. I can't recall if the game mentioned what the S means. I think it's special or super or senior. Definitely not hope. Anyway, we'll refer to it as S Elder Slayer. Our goal here is to reach level 85 as soon as possible, so we can get to the main farming zone which is zone 6. I just need to warn you that this will get boring after a while, but if you want to reach level 99 as soon as possible, then you'll just have to bear with it. You can take a break or do a different quest after gaining several levels. It's up to you. Also, I want to mention that it took me around a couple of days to reach level 99 from level 76. I didn't play all day, and again, I tried a lot of things. I think you can reach level 99 from around level 70 in just a day or several hours if you're really fast and patient. In town, make sure to offer the training charm for the additional 25% XP. The prayer and charm do not stack up at least from what I have tested. I tried both the training prayer and the training charm, and there were no additional XP, so just pick any prayer that you want. I usually go with a gathering prayer because sometimes you might get a gold ore, and that can be a talisman. At level 73, you can quick finish enemies in the S Elder's Lair Zone 1. Once you reach level 75, then move on to Zone 2. At level 80, you can quick finish enemies at zone 4. At this point, leveling up will get really slow, and you might get bored so do what you have to do. Once you reach level 85, you can now move on to our main farming zone which is the S Elder's Lair Zone 6. 
you can stay here until you reach level 99. You're probably wondering about the other zones. Well, zone 7 does not have any enemies after you clear them for the first time, of course. Zone 8 will have the deviant monsters which you cannot quick finish. Yes, you can quick finish other enemies here at level 92, but they give very little XP. Now, you can quick finish enemies at level 98 in S Elder's Lair Zone 9, but it's not worth it. I did several runs on Zone 9 and it will give you more XP than what you get in Zone 6, but it will take twice as long. Plus, there are Elder Dragons around that you cannot quick finish, so it's better to stay in Zone 6. You get around 1.38 million XP per run in Zone 6, and it takes me around 3 minutes and 20 seconds per run on my preferred route. If you have a Monsi that can dash and if you can press buttons fast enough, then you will be faster than that. So in 1 hour, you can get around 26 million XP in Zone 6. For reference, you need around 27.5 million XP from level 98 to level 99. I'll play a full unedited run in Zone 6. I didn't cut any footage here, even the loading screens are there. My game is installed in an NVMe SSD so your loading times may be different. I'll leave you with footage. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. makes you stronger. makes you stronger. Working together makes you stronger.